Timothy Alton is putting on a, a publicity campaign around the team, which will feature an article by Timothy Alton with the Barbados flag on it. There are 30 stores around the world. They're going to be exposing brand Barbados every time they publicize them. You know, and that's fantastic, not just for the, the rugby team, but for Barbados itself. And such a prestigious um, line would, would uh, come on board with the rugby team and be supporting it in such a world uh, event is significant. Uh, we're also going to be in the summer in, in um, the UK in four or five tournaments. Um, one of which we hope to be a Barbados Sevens tournament in the Midlands. Uh, we're talking to the authorities about supporting that and to bear sponsors about supporting that. But the, the objective is to ensure that brand Barbados um, is exposed in one of our largest markets, uh, culminating in the Commonwealth Games, which will be you know, 1.5 billion viewers worldwide watching Barbados team uh, on, the, on the world stage. This is what we can generate from sports in Barbados. This is what these fine gentlemen and, and their managers have put into the, you know, put the effort into for the past two years. You know, uh, getting the home support is fantastic. Getting recognition from the world is even better. That is even more important for Barbados and uh, and for our economy. I think uh, you know the way it's seeded is Russia seeded ahead, ahead of Zimbabwe, but Zimbabwe won the, this tournament last year, the qualifying tournament last year. So, you know, I think those are probably, they play quite different games, but I think they're probably in the same category. And Chile's had some really nice performances in the last, uh, in January, they had a really good performance, uh, knocking off Uruguay and beating Brazil quite badly, actually. So, um, you know, it, it, they're, they're all going to be, you know, they're all, they're all good sides. Uh, but they're the sides that we definitely want to be competitive with. You know, they're sides that, that we want to give them, uh, we want to give them a, uh, Good little run, uh, and uh, but they're all, you know. That's the fascinating thing about sevens is there's such unique styles to it, and I don't think it's that different than cricket. You know, where you might have a feature of a spin bowler versus a fast bowler. Uh, it's the same thing in sevens. You know, you might have a team that plays a little bit more direct, um, a bit more physical at you, and then you have a team that maybe relies on a little bit more speed. And Zimbabwe so probably relies a little bit more on the speed than Russia, but uh, and then Chile's just. You know, like all South American countries, they're they're just good athletes. You know, they're 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 smart athletes. You know, they're footballers, which I don't necessarily think are smart, but uh, they uh, they use those skills. They use the cross skills. So we'll see Chile. They'll kick a little. They'll they'll have the swerves. They'll do some nice things. I I, I like the way South Americans play the game actually. Okay. Um, no, no, not in that. Basically, how you deal with it is when you've got that much difference in the time zone. Uh, what we do is we get in at one o'clock on Saturday afternoon, on, the, on a Saturday afternoon, and we're training at four o'clock that afternoon. So you get right on the paddock, you get out there and train, keep the guys up, and then you try to get them back into that sleep pattern as fast as you can. Just don't let them sleep. You know, force them to get into the pattern. Um, it's. Uh, you know, from from the UK. Since we're going to the UK, then we got to go through the time zones. And then once we go from London, um, I, I suspect from my past sort of history, it, it, you know, as long as they sleep on the plane, and we'll, we'll help them out a little there um, to to give them some melatonin or something like that to get them to uh, be easier to get to sleep. And um, but we'll we'll get them onto the cycle right away. We won't let them get off the cycle. We won't let them get in there and have a nap, and have a sleep, and and then not be able to sleep that night. They'll they'll be they'll be training within three hours of us landing. They'll be on the practice field. It's almost two years ago to the day that we started the sevens program, and you know we had a chat the other night about it uh, and uh, you know, where we were, and you know our fitness levels have just gone through the roof. Um, you know we're now at a, at, a, at a really quite a good fitness level, and that clearly was not the case two years ago. And that's the first thing we got to get. The second is, you know, do you have the speed to play the game? We generally have the speed to play the game. We're, you know, we've got some athletes, we've got some pace, and we've worked on that. Um, you know, anybody who's at the National Stadium on Monday nights, they see us doing our sprint works. Um, so, you know, we've done a good job on that. And then it was building those core skills that you need to play the game, and we've done a very good job at that. And I'm very pleased with where the guys are at. We're, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're really close to, to, to making some nice steps. And, 
and, and some of us are, 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 are there, and then some are just, just a niche below it. And so it's to get those guys over playing a lot of tournaments. That's our biggest, biggest issue for us right now is we're just not, we need to play more quality sevens.